Hi, I'm Felix. In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between Smart Refs and the conventional reference tools within 3ds Max. First of all, the main difference is that Smart Refs is a system based on overrides. Basically, you can have a reference and anything that you modify in the master scene becomes overridden. So those changes are kept in the scene. All of the rest is updated from the reference every time that you reload it. That's very similar of how the references work in Maya. But instead, with the standard XREF objects in Max, depending on how you set up the reference, you get stuck forever with either one thing or the other. So, for example, you can have all the modifiers and materials merged, but in that case, you wouldn't be able to update anything from the reference file. Or you could choose to have the modifiers referenced, but in that case you cannot modify them in the master scene. Or other things like object properties, they get merged and they can never be updated later on. You don't even have a choice. So that's a problem with the standard tools of 3ds Max. Some stuff that you will be able to do with smart refs is update or override changes in object properties, layers, object, offset, position, rotation and scale, wireframe, color, parenting, and even removing or adding objects without causing troubles. All of that is not possible to do with the standard tools of 3ds Max. You can also override the modifiers by adding, removing, moving or modifying them. The materials can be modified and reassigned as well. Then again, what is changed is preserved, the rest is updated. With controllers, the same override system is used. But with the standard XREF objects, you have to have always frozen controllers in order to reference a wrecked asset and be able to animate it. But that has its limitations. For example, if you need to add more controllers to the list of controllers, you cannot do that without causing troubles. Or sometimes you will prefer to not use frozen controllers at all. Those issues are not a problem anymore with smart refs. The biped of 3ds Max is also compatible with smart refs. You can make a character with biped, reference it, animate it, change it in the reference file, and update it easily. Another important advantage of smart refs is that you have lighter scenes. For example, if the reference file has 1000 objects and only one is modified, only that single modification is saved in the master file. With XRefs, all the 1000 objects are saved, making the file bigger and slow to save and load. Other thing is that with uh, smart refs, you can also have proxies of whole scenes, but with XRefs, the proxies can only be assigned by object. There are even more advantages of using smart refs. Watch the other videos in the channel or go to smartrefs.com to know more. And thanks for watching. If you haven't tried smart refs, give it a go and see how your production pipeline can improve a lot by using this powerful tool for 3ds Max.